Hi everyone, this is Angie. We're going to go over today in our video how to car ferry from St. Thomas to St. John. A few things that you need to know is that the ferry is cash only. You will need $3 to get in the parking lot. You will need either $50 for round trip or $35 each way for your car. The ferry is scheduled to run every hour, but that is actually not a fact. So it runs as often as people can back their cars in, which some people are better than others at doing that. So be prepared to wait. What? Exhaust. What do you want me to do? Oh. If you go up the stairs, there is a viewing area with seats that you can set and watch the ferry view as you go. You guys are hiring. I don't. You're going to wait until this thing gets full. Mm -hmm. yes. Hey, Richie. So I was lucky enough to head towards the front of the boat, the front of the ferry, as they were closing it up. So there's just a ramp that they put to the dock and then they lift that when they get ready to leave. Um, it was really neat to watch, so I recorded it and added it here in case you guys enjoy the same entertainment as I do. As we pull out from the St. Thomas, you can see we're getting further away from that dock, but it is so cool to see just how quickly we pulled away from there and the view on the way from St. Thomas to St. John on the water was just extraordinary. Um, I added a lot of that to this video um, and, and I even decided which houses on the hillside that would be mine. So I just, uh, yeah, I thought it was really, really cool to see the boats going by and people would wave at us and you could see people out on their balconies just watching the ferry go through. So once you're on the ferry and it pulls away from dock, there's a gentleman that comes up to your car and that is how you pay for your ferry ride. What we decided to do is we paid the $35 for one way and then on our way back, we didn't have to wait for a certain ferry. If you buy a one way ticket or a round trip ticket, excuse me, for the $50, it is cheaper, but you have to wait for that specific car ferry to come back. So if you're running late, and they've already left and that's the last run, then you're gonna have to repay for that one-way ticket back. So we went ahead and paid the additional dollars to do $35 one way and $35 back. So that way we would be able to catch any ferry, the first available ferry when we were there. Um, it was worth the money for us. We were a little worried. I believe the last ferry leaves at like 5.15 or 5.30. And I didn't want to take it a chance since our resort was on St. Thomas that we would be stuck on St. John with nowhere to stay. I guess everybody should just use their best judgment. Um, if you're really crunched on money and you're okay with your time, then you have that opportunity to be able to purchase that round trip ticket and save you that additional money. As you see here in the video, we're passing another car ferry. So it's really neat to see the different car ferries and how many cars they load on them uh, to take across the Caribbean seas. So I ended up being stuck between this teal house that you see here. And then later on in the video, I zoom in on like a, a darker blue brown house just in case you guys were wondering uh, my home preference for on the island. <laughs> I just thought it was really fun um, to kind of 
be able to dream while we're driving by all these homes. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment and I'll try to answer them.